If you are thinking about moving to Granite Bay, California, you need to know some pros and cons in the area, especially if you're going to be making that big, big decision to move to Granite Bay. Guys, this video is all for you, and these are the top pros and cons about moving to Granite Bay. Let's get into it right now. Okay, let's start with the pros. Number one is it is private. If you're someone who's coming into the Sacramento area and security, privacy, all that stuff is really, really important to you, Granite Bay has some of the tightest security communities out there. Los Lagos, you need an ID, you need an appointment to even get into the community. So if security, if privacy is something that's hugely important to you guys, talk to our team. We'll talk to you a little bit about some of the communities, which ones have guard gates, which ones their security protocols and everything too. A lot of people moving into this area love that. Eddie Murphy definitely loved that in Los Lagos and some of these communities that definitely deliver some of the top privacy and that's important to a lot of people. And if that's important to you, Grant Bay could be that spot for you. Number two is schools. Like I said, I always advise people going to greatschools.org to see the Grant Bay schools. You will not be disappointed. A lot of people directly go to Grant Bay. They're not even thinking about the price tag. They're thinking about schools. Granite Bay delivers some amazing schools. And like I said, I always tell people go to greatschools.org. Punch in Granite Bay, guys. You will not be disappointed. Number three is shopping. Roseville is the heart of the shopping area in the Sacramento area. You're going to see stores like Louis Vuitton, Apple, Rolex, Restoration Hardware. This is the hub of our shopping in the Sacramento Metro. Grant Bay is about five minutes from that. And a lot of people enjoy the idea that they can go to shops, they can go to some nice restaurants and everything is super close by. And they drive five minutes home in their nice estate home. Shopping is a big one and that's what you're gonna find as one of the largest pros of living in Grant Bay, California. Okay, number four is if you're thinking about moving to Sacramento and you want an estate home, we're talking about maybe a gate at the front of your driveway, we're talking about curb appeal, we're talking about that U-shaped driveway, all that stuff, guys. Granite Bay is definitely that spot. Granite Bay has been building estate homes. We're talking these large 6,000, even 10,000 square foot homes for a long, long time. They are amazing. Mediterranean, contemporary, Tuscan, you name it, they've got it. These homes are just unbelievable curb appeal and a lot of front space as well too to maximize privacy so if that's you and you're thinking to yourself i'm thinking about maybe a four or five six thousand square foot home i want to make sure that it's set back we have a nice backyard guys estate homes is granite bay's forte Number five, also remember that if you're gonna be spending a lot of money in Grant Bay, it's your investment. Grant Bay has been one of those top spots that always inventory is hard to find in Grant Bay. Price tags always go up and up and up and up. Appreciation is just nuts in Grant Bay. Even the word Grant Bay in the Sacramento area basically tells people that you got something that other people might want as well. Grant Bay is definitely one of the top demand areas in the area and that really helps you at the end of the day in seven to eight years, maybe decide to sell the home. It's in Grant Bay and Grant Bay his name carries definitely a lot of weight in the Sacramento real estate market. Now, Grant Bay is an amazing spot to live, but there are some cons and things you need to consider before making that move. So let's talk about cons right now. Number one, and this is a huge one, home insurance. I've seen policies as much as $15,000 with homes that are closer to Folsom Lake. So just be aware and just work with a good home insurance person to figure out what the quote is going to look like before you decide to pull the trigger on a house. A lot of people fall in love with these estate homes. They're just so awesome and they forget the fact that they need to consider home insurance. That's a big one, guys. Like I said, I've seen policies up to $15,000 a year. It's nuts. Number two, pretty much, like I would say 90% of Grant Bay are custom homes. But custom homes mean these homes were designed from other people's specification. And like, here's the thing, I have gone into some of these awesome custom homes and they're just a little quirky. There's maybe like three studies or four offices or like everything's built on the second floor and there's not a lot built on the first floor. So custom doesn't generally mean like, wow, that's an awesome custom home. It's designed for the previous person's specs and a lot of times that can get a little weird. I've seen houses in Grant Bay that just don't flow right. So just be aware that custom is fantastic, but custom is based on another person's specifications and it grant bay some of these homes can be a little odd number three you are in the heart of nature in the sacramento area guys i don't think it gets more nature than grant bay you're close to Folsom lake but with that also comes the animals so just understand guys you're in some of the most amazing scenery in northern california but you are going to get a lot of critters in that area so just be aware now the other thing to consider is areas like los lagos have natural like granite formations and rock formations so some of that stuff is part of the home i've seen 
houses in Los Lagos that have absolutely gorgeous Mediterranean vibe to them, but you go to the backyard and you see this giant, giant rock wall. So nature definitely is part of Granite Bay. Just be aware of that. Number four, and this is a huge one, guys. A lot of people who move in from the Bay Area have maybe a 1,200, 1,300 square foot condo and they're building, they're jumping into like a 4,000 square foot house. Understand some of these houses, the landscaping, the maintenance, energy costs, it is crazy. I've seen people that have paid actually $1,000 every single month just to maintain their landscaping. So understand, guys, these estate homes are gorgeous, but you've got to maintain them for them to retain their value. So in these estate homes, just consider that you're going to have to pay an energy bill. You're going to have to do landscaping and it could get pricey. Number five, and this is a huge one. A lot of people who are moving from the Bay Area don't necessarily want to spend two or $3 million on a home. They're wondering if our market can support that, if the growth is there, if it's a smart investment. My own personal opinion is I only think prices are going to go up in the Sacramento area. I think we are a hot spot with jobs, with growth, with development. But a lot of people are a little bit apprehensive to spend two or $3 million, million dollars in the Sacramento area. It doesn't matter if it's Grant Bay, El Dorado Hills or whatnot. So that tends to be a little bit of something. And that's a little bit of something you got to get over personally. It's not something someone can tell you to do or don't do, but that's definitely a factor to consider when you're making the move to Grant Bay. Okay. So I wanted to give you one last pro. I know the cons might've got you down, but here's a, one of the largest pros that a lot of people love about Grant Bay. They're near nature and near Folsom Lake. I mean, everything is super close by. So if you're a boating enthusiast, if you love nature, trails if you like hiking biking you will find nothing better than granite bay it is awesome and it's located a lot of the communities like los lagos and whatnot are super close to Folsom Lake and some of the primo spots of Folsom Lake, you are embedded in some of the most amazing scenery in Northern California. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video on the pros and cons of Granite Bay, California. So if you're thinking about making the move to Granite Bay, hopefully this video helped. And if it did, subscribe because we'll be dropping a whole lot more content on this channel regarding the Sacramento metro area. Like, comment, questions, we answer them all. And guys, my name is Mark McDonough. I run one of the top relocation teams in the Sacramento metro. We would love the opportunity to work with you. Until next time, guys, have a good one.